Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. A few videos have already been uploaded in this series and I request you to do watch the entire playlist because it will be helpful if you are working with geometries in ComSol. Today we are starting on axisymmetric simulation. So in many cases axisymmetric simulations are necessary. Today I'll talk about why axisymmetric model what is the advantage of using it and what are the limitations of axisymmetric simulations. So before I move on to the ComSol things, let me talk about what does exactly axisymmetric means. Axisymmetric means you have a plane of symmetry or you, you have a symmetric thing where you are doing your simulation. So the things are very abstract as of now, just to explore in more detail. Suppose I want to solve for this fluid flow model. Say fluid flow is happening through these circular sections. This is a, not circular, this is a kind of a segment of this uh, circular section. So what is happening is, you can see if I draw a line here or if I roam around, around along this path, you can see in the left side and the right side, you have similar simulation outputs. I'll talk once again, suppose you are roaming around this and you see at both the ends you have this simulations output similar. If you have a condition like this, then only you can go ahead with axis symmetry. If you don't have this plane of symmetry, then axis symmetry will not work. Now, why we should go for axis symmetry? Because, see, whatever results you are getting at this cut plane, you are getting similar at this cut plane also. So there is no need to solve for entire geometry. If you only solve for this 2D plane, that will be good enough to get the information about the entire solution space. So this will reduce your computational time uh, for, for a great extent. And that is the main advantage people use axisymmetric simulations. So I will be, I'll be doing this particular simulation step by step so that you can understand it in a better way so as i always go so today i'll be taking we will not be taking 2d i'll be taking 2d axis symmetry so let us select it uh, let us take laminar flow because we'll be working with the fluid flow as i have shown in the other tab in the study let us take st uh, time dependent and i click on done it is taking some time yeah it has come now the thing is uh, let me make it millimeter size channel because fluid flow will look great otherwise in a large channel fluid flow doesn't look good i mean pictorially now i take say a rectangle or a square you can say a square what we can do is we can make the side say around two millimeter yeah that's fine now instead of corner make it at the center and put it somewhere in the right i mean this is the axis symmetric axis i'm trying to put it somewhere shifted position you can put it here itself i mean you can play around this base points so let me take it as 0 0.2 0 0.5 for say 0.5 is not moving it so let's uh, make it 1 yeah then it will be moving away from the it was at 1 only uh, 1.2 will be fine yeah so it is moving away from this axisymmetric line you, I mean you can do it. it it depends on your choice but for, for the time being I am choosing a space between this axisymmetric line and the object and what happens is we will be solving for this square only and then we'll revolve it for a certain angle so that i get the geometry which i have shown so this particular plane if i am revolving uh, say here it is 270 degree then we are getting this particular space so here i will be doing this only so suppose yeah this is the rotational angle I make it 270 so you'll be getting output up to 270 degree 
now as it is required let us put a liquid water recently taken so yeah i can take water at the solution space let me add some inlet and outlet so i right click put inlet let me make this one as inlets put some inlet velocity say 0 0.01 meter per second now let me work with outlet so this is my outlet and yeah at outlet i put zero pressure let us make the mesh now uh, i make it little bit finer say extra fine so the solution will look great it will take some time as extra fine is chosen now i guess your entire things are done we are good to go let us make the ultimate time as 0.1 so it takes less time now i click on compute yeah i guess it's good to go yeah simulation has started as you can see it's progressing so i'll just pause the video and i'll come back once yes the simulation is done now we can look at the profile so this is how the profile look, looks like at 2d section but we are uh, intending to see the 3d section so automatically it would come so velocity in a 3d space as you can see yeah, it is at zero time so it's looking bad so i put it at the final time step yeah so you can see we have actually created this particular space and uh, we you you are not solving for a 3d plane but still you are getting data for a 3d so it will give you a better representation of your simulation data and that is why axis metric is very much important i hope you will be able to implement this concept to your simulation do watch our other videos and i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates thanks